All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, just got back from the range. Um, wanted to test the shotgun out. I didn't get any range footage because I was by myself, and you know how that can be. You got to put it on a tripod, and then people start bitching about you filming, and I wasn't going to get good angles anyway. So, but I just wanted to test this optic that I got, and I came away extremely, extremely disappointed. As you can see, after eight... After about eight shells, about eight shells downrange, that's all I shot. Bang, 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 and look what happened. Well, camera is not focusing. Let me see if I can, uh, sorry for the shitty zoom. Let me see if I can get you that. The notch, the notch where you, you turn on the optic and you get it with just um, the, the, the setting on how bright it is after eight shells downrange it, it just broke off I shot a couple more times just shooting through the through the lens because after that happened that the optic just stopped working oh my, someone's calling me um, um, so about after eight rounds that popped off the optic stopped working um, also, which I'm very disappointed, I paid $100 for this optic, and um, it came highly recommended from people on YouTube, as this is the primary arms optic. Um, also that I noticed, the glass that you look through right here, it feels a little like loose, a little shaky. So if it wasn't gonna if it wasn't gonna break eight shells in, it was probably gonna break maybe like 50 or 60 shells in. So um, very disappointed on that. I called them up. They said to uh, send it in, and they'll send me a whole brand new unit. And uh, if that doesn't work, then they said they'll, they offered me my a full a full refund. Um, they send you know. And they were going to even pay for shipping, but I told them, "Listen, I just want a, I just want an optic that's going to work." And uh, the O light, the O light here uh, did extremely well. Um, I was shooting with it on, and I had no issues with the flashlight. The, the flashlight looks like it's going to be a win. I just, I think I need to get a better mount because this, this mount loosened up very significantly. Shoot, I, I must have put a box of. What is it? I don't know. It's a box of like 15, I think, of Winchester Double Out Buck. And you can see how loose the, the mount became. And my optic just went to, went to shit. Also, this ATI... Yeah, I know. Just a horrible fucking day. This ATI um, shell holder here. I had five shells in here. And due to the shock of the shotgun, um, they were falling out. The, 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 the shells I had in there were just falling out. So, I don't know. Uh, just nothing has worked other than the flashlight. As you can see, the heat shield moved up. The heat shield, uh, the boys all the way back here, it moved up. That's due to, I lost the screw there. So it's fitting, it's not well fitted on there. So, I know that the heat shield will work fine once I get a replacement screw, which I can just go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get a screw to tighten it down a little bit better. The shotgun itself shot great, no issues to report on the shotgun itself. But all the accessories that I got on the, the fucking shotgun, other than the flashlight, um, has been a bust. So uh, there's a little update on the 12 gauge Charles Daly shotgun and the primary arms optic. Um, disappointed, but it seems like the manufacturer is going to take care of me. So I would have an update coming up on when I receive that new optic and uh, and take it to the range. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm out.